here. Well, we want to welcome everyone to our Mars Hill Fellowship uh, service uh, for Sunday, uh, May the 3rd. Um, excited that we've reached the month of May. Um, uh, for many of us, we've been in about seven weeks now um, that uh, we've been at shelter in place or some type of um, uh, stay at home or safe at home order. And, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing to think the time that has, has gone by and and, um, you know, I, I know when we first started this, I was like, how would we ever make it through one week or one day? And, and here we are now, um, you know, seven weeks later, uh, we're still alive in the land of the living. Um, we haven't killed anybody um, yet. <laughs> um, operative word yet. We're still praying. Um, and um, um, but God is faithful. And so yes. Um, yes. as as we, you know, come each week. Um, I want our gatherings not just to be um, <laughs> ritual. It's easy that Sunday, um, uh, there's a blessing to ritual, and, and ritual is good. Ritual, um, having habit is good. And some of you have seen that, like, the ability to just have a rhythm uh, every day is good. So, you know, the rhythm of actually getting up and taking a shower, um, to change your, you know, your pajama pants to your daytime pajamas, you know, all of those rituals that... Um, are in place, they help us um, as we go throughout the day to kind of maintain a sense of, of balance and, and just kind of walking through the day. But, you know, one of the things that can happen, um, and, and, and I, I don't want us to get in that place, is where out of a sense of ritual, we lose um, the blessing of our coming together and communing together and um, uh, the beauty of uh, experiencing God's presence together. And so, uh, every time we come together, I want us just to expect uh, something dynamic, something great, something beautiful um, for God to do in our in our time of gathering. And so whether you're with us on the Zoom or whether you're with us uh, on Facebook or electronic means today uh, or whether you're watching the replay, um, as we as we prepare our hearts for today's service. Can we ask God, Lord, what do you want to say to us today? What do you what what do you want us to know? You, you know, when when Jesus teaches his disciples to pray, he teaches them to pray this way. Uh, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then he says this. Give us this day our daily bread. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, some of us in this season, we're experiencing the challenge of what it is when um, maybe there's food insecurity, or maybe it's we don't have all the resources that we have, or maybe we haven't been able to go to the grocery store. I mean, I, I know before the uh, the pandemic, I used to be, you know, like, if you go to the grocery store for anything, you know, it's like, oh, I forgot some ketchup, let's go to the grocery store, you know, like, anything, you know, was there. And there were, I remember seasons in my life where, you know, I either was out of work or challenging um, seasons or was a college student, um, brother Luis knows this, <laughs> knows that well, uh, where, you know, you really are relying on God for your daily bread. Mm -hmm. Like if God does not supply, if he does not manifest resources for that day, you will have nothing. And um, having gone through that, Although it can be a difficult in seasons to um, walk through that, having gone through that, it has taught me an appreciation of knowing that God supplies our every need. And just like uh, the children of Israel, when, when they were in the wilderness and, and the Lord provided manna for them every day, we can ask the Lord that even in this moment, even in this season, in this hour, in this opportunity. Lord, what do you want us to receive today? What, what can we be prepared for, Lord, so that as we listen to your word, as we sing together, as we worship together, as we reflect together, that this will not just be another ritual, but this will be a time and a place where we hear from God. So we'll, can we gather together as we as we gather together all across um, uh, Boston area, greater Boston area, and across uh, the world and those who are watching on Facebook 
uh, with us this morning. Can we pray together and just call upon the name of the Lord this morning um, and invite his presence into our time of gathering here today? Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that, uh, as your word has uh, declares, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, Lord. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, Lord. In everything, we are to give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. That means that whether I'm abounding or whether I'm abasing, Lord, whether things are plentiful or whether things are scarce, whether, Lord, uh, things seem to be going all well or whether things seem to be experiencing so much difficulty. Lord, we give thanks to you for life and health and strength. We give thanks to you, Lord, for all your many blessings. So, Lord, right now, as we come to you this morning, Lord, uh, we come to you knowing that you are the one who knows all things and sees all things. And, and Lord, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, for your everlasting goodness and grace that is extended unto us. Father, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, that 2020, though it is a shock to many of us, Lord, it has never been a shock to you. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, that in your infinite grace, in your infinite wisdom, Lord, you not only knew of all the things that will be transpiring in this season, but Lord, you also have prepared a way of escape. Lord, you said that in everything you prepared a way of escape. And so, Father, we thank you that as we look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith, as we, Lord, align our will to your will, O oh God, Lord, as we align our thoughts to your thoughts, Lord, you are ordering our steps. Lord, you are allowing us to be able to walk out in all that you've called for us to do. So, Father, right now, we ask that the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, would be upon us, Lord, that your grace, O oh God, Lord, would allow us to be able to experience the fulfillment of all that you have promised in this season. Lord, we promise, we pray that we would not shrink back. Lord, we pray that we would not uh, be afraid. Lord, we pray that we would not be, O oh God, Lord, without hope. Lord, restore our hope for those who have lost hope even in this season. Lord, restore the hope that, Lord, you are the eternal God. You are the one who brings everything together. Lord, restore the hope of Romans 8 and 28 that all things will work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to your purposes. So, Father, Lord, I pray for the hopeless even right now. I pray for those who are mourning, oh God, Lord, even in the Mars Hill community, we've been affected directly with those who have been impacted by the coronavirus and those who have even lost loved ones by the coronavirus virus. And so, Father, even in this season, would you comfort those, oh God, who are mourning in this season? It is never easy to lose loved ones. It's never easy when we lose the, uh, the earthly companionship and love that we have for, for loved ones, friends, and family members. But Father, our world needs you right now, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we cry out to you, oh God, Lord, not just for ourselves. We need you, oh God, but Lord, our world needs you all the more even right now. And so, Father, yes. in the name of Jesus, heal, deliver, set free. Lord, Lord, change our hearts and our minds. Lord, help us, oh God, Lord, that in the midst of today, it would not just be another gathering, Lord. I know what I've prepared. I know what you've downloaded. I know what those, Sister DeVita will share. I know, Lord, what we have set on the agenda, but Lord, we say, have your way in yes, today's service, oh God. Yeah, Lord, yes, have your yeah. way, oh God, in everything that is said and done, so that you, O oh name, your name, oh God, Lord, might be glorified in all the earth. Lord, we pray that this season will be a season of reckoning. And Lord, that even in the midst of this crisis, you would draw people to know you. We pray for our unsaved loved ones, those who may not have a relationship with you. We pray for our friends who may be in this season, they don't have a hope to lean on. We thank you that we can proclaim the one who is the hope for all hope to the unknown God, which is why we call ourselves Mars Hill Fellowship Church. It was upon that Mars Hill that you said, let me introduce you to the unknown God. And that has been our mission, oh God, Lord, from day one, to introduce people to the unknown God, skeptics, people who don't believe, people who believed and have fallen away, people who have never been exposed to the gospel. But Lord, we would introduce them to the one true and living God. Lord, may we be faithful in that today. 
In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Amen. Well, um, uh, we have the blessing of worshiping together today um, through song. And so I'm going to invite uh, you in just a moment to uh, join with Pastor Ophelia as she will uh, lead us in our worship for today. And let me, uh, for those of you who are on Zoom, uh, the words for today's um, uh, song will be on the screen. So let's welcome Pastor Ophelia. <laughs> again as we um, lift up our voices together in worship. Um, uh, thinking about um, this song uh, we've done uh, together all before, Who You Say I Am, and the words just uh, say who the sun sets free is free indeed and reminds us that we are children of God. And before we sing, I just wanted to share the scripture in Galatians, the fourth chapter, starting at the fourth verse. That says, but when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out Abba, Father. Now we are no longer a slave, but God's own child and since you are his child God has made you his heir so even when so many different circumstances try to tell us differently we are reminded that because of the work of the cross and our belief in what Jesus has done and that he's risen again um, that we are in fact his children and so we will sing this together There's a place. 